हेलो एवरीवन इन टुडेज एपिसोड ऑफ वीकेंड कुकिंग विद पुनीत वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फेमस पनीर करी इन इंडिया अमृतसरी पनीर भुर्जी इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिलीशियस फूड दैट यू कैन प्रिपेयर यूजिंग पनीर इट्स आल्सो समथिंग दैट यू कैन रियली कस्टमाइज टू किड्स बिकॉज you can control all the ingredients that go into making the paneer burji and given that it has a soft texture when prepared kids really love it so let's get started you might want to start with a couple of onions now there are multiple ways you can chop onions here all you want finally is finely chopped onions you can either grate onions you can cut them into smaller pieces using a knife you can also use onion chopper and then chop these onions into small slices and then you also need to chop maybe 3 tomatoes finely chop them uh, unlike me uh, i i have chopped tomatoes into larger pieces that's not the way you do it that's one mistake that i did while preparing this so you have to finely chop tomatoes as well now i'm trying to prepare my own chili ginger garlic paste uh, you could do this or you can also cut chilies into small pieces very small pieces one or two chilies depending on who the ultimate consumer is and i'm also putting 1 inch of ginger 5 6 cloves of garlic and mashing that all into a chili ginger garlic paste like i mentioned you can also use readily available ginger garlic paste instead i'm using more tomatoes here because i'm also using tomatoes for something else uh, but make sure you use two or three tomatoes not really more than that so this is one dish that is uh, very famous in the vibrant city of amritsar uh, it's very unique very popular in this region it's usually served with bread uh, it's a very famous street food in amritsar uh, but you could also have it with uh, roti naan kulcha paratha chapati uh, almost every kind of bread i'm also preparing a curd paste for which i'm using 100 ml of curd you can use a little bit more also i'm using the usual one spoon of cumin powder a spoon of coriander powder a little bit of uh, red chili powder and a spoon of salt now again salt and chili powder uh, it's as per your taste you can add it in small quantities or in large quantities mix all this really well and uh, keep it aside so this kind of prepares our prep one last prep that we need to do is uh, frying the basin ground floor now you can use a spoon of ground floor or maybe maximum two spoons don't use a lot of it either you can dry fry it or you can also fry it in oil or ghee so the reason of using uh, ground floor one it adds some taste uh, to the preparation itself and it also increases the quantity of the curry itself uh, it, it it is quite unique uh, uh, in this particular preparation that ground floor is uh, used after the ground floor uh, you know uh, once you, once you get a little bit of fragrance of the floor that's when you take it out and you can either use a different vessel or clean and use the same vessel uh for same pan sorry for preparing the uh main curry now i am using ghee here but uh, i recommend that you use uh, butter instead of ghee uh, butter as per your appetite uh, maybe two spoons or three spoons of butter uh I'm adding a little a pinch of mustard and cumin seeds. Uh again this is optional. You might want to skip it. And then I'm going to add the chili ginger garlic paste. Uh like I mentioned earlier, you can simply use ready available ginger garlic paste and finely chopped green chilies here. One or maximum of uh, two green chilies. 
Now I'm going to add the finely chopped onion and the shallow fry the onions. One should note here that we are not going to overcook the onions. We are not going to wait till they change color or they are fully cooked. We are just going to uh, you know finely fry them for a minute or two and then we are going to add tomatoes, finely chopped tomatoes. Uh, this is another mistake that I did that I added the uh, curd masala paste before adding the uh, tomatoes. So always add the tomatoes first and uh, after the tomatoes are slightly cooked we are not going to again cook the tomatoes for uh, you, know, you know a long time and uh, uh, wait for them to be fully cooked we just cook them for a while and then we add the curd masala paste again uh, like i said i have not finely chopped tomatoes uh, you have to finely chop tomatoes that's when you're going to get uh, the texture that we are aiming for we'll cook this well for a couple of minutes and uh, after this is cooked uh, we are going to add the basin powder that we have uh, fried and kept aside after adding the basin flour uh, maybe a spoon or two of basin flour and mixing it well you will see that the basin is absorbing all the uh, water or the liquid uh, that's uh, very natural. Uh, when you see that the curry is becoming a little thick or kind of becoming dry, that's when we are going to add maybe a cup, one and a half cup of water, 100 ml water, uh, depending on the kind of texture that you're aiming. Generally, uh, paneer burji is I wouldn't call it a dry preparation, but kind of semi-dry is uh, where uh, you would want to target it. So depending on your targeted texture, add a little bit of water. And then this is the last part, uh, maybe last but one part, wherein we add paneer. Uh, either you can uh, crumble paneer and put it into the curry. or you can also grate it like I'm trying to do. You can also grate paneer directly into the preparation. You can also grate paneer separately and add the whole thing at the same time. Uh, you could do it either way. Uh, just make sure that uh, you don't grate paneer and keep it for a long time. Just make sure that you add it immediately into the preparation. Now I'm going to add some butter into this. Again, butter is as per appetite. Uh, I'm going to add a couple of spoons of uh, butter and now close the lid and uh, let this whole thing cook for about four to five minutes. We are mainly aiming for the paneer to get cooked here because the onions and tomatoes would have already got cooked by now. And there we are, we are close to our final destination. Now garnish with a spoon of uh, garam masala, any garam masala that you like and a handful of kasuri methi and uh, fresh coriander leaves. After adding this, we are going to just stir it for uh, maybe about 30 seconds and there we go. Just give it a final cook for just a minute, uh, not really more than that. This is a very delectable creation. Uh, it's, it's kind of won the hearts of people, not just in Punjab or Amritsar, but across the country. Uh, it's a very famous dish even in the other parts of the country. Uh, I'll encourage you to try this recipe at home and let me know what you thought about it. This is Weekend Cooking with Puneet and uh, I'll see you next week. Thank you.